Hi, this is Eric with WM Noby & Company. Today we're going to cover section control setup and tuning on the John Deere Generation 4 4600 Command Center. The first thing we're going to do when we hook up our implement is we're going to come down to setup in the bottom left. Here we can set our client farm field, our machine and implement settings, and we can set up our documentation. Underneath of our implement is where we'll find our mechanical delay, otherwise known as our look ahead times. To find that, let's press on the actual Green Star Ray Controller setup icon. And down at the bottom, we'll view the mechanical de delay times for on and off. Now, if we want to tune those on the 4600 Command Center, it's a little bit easier, and it's almost automatic. To do so, we're going to come down to Main Menu in the bottom right, go to Applications on the left, and then we're going to go to Section Control. We'll have to scroll down to find that. Here, we can turn Section Control on and off, as well as Headland Control and using boundaries. We can also set our overlap settings for coverage, exterior boundaries, and interior boundaries. And we can do performance tuning. While I was saying this is a little bit easier, all you need to do is tell it what your symptom is. So if, if we're entering coverage and we have an overlap of one foot, and if we're traveling five and a half miles an hour, and exiting coverage, if we were to have, when we exit coverage, coming out of our headland, if we also had a one foot skip, and a speed of five and a half, It will tell us before we tuned and after we tuned the mechanical delay change that the screen is intending to put in. Then we can go back in the field and we can try that and make adjustments from there. One last thing to note, the only place to find the section control check mark, as it used to be called, the on off button, is if we can put it in a shortcut bar at the bottom of our screen. Hope this video helps and if you guys want more videos, please look at our website at wmnobi.com. Thank you.